Welcome to Series 4, Episode 2 of Doctor Who. Let's get into it. I, was, I feel like the episode, title of the episode gives it away. I'm excited about a Pompeii episode, though. I've always been fascinated with it, and I visited. It's so wrong! This is fantastic. Pompeii and Herculaneum, and it was, it was really interesting. This is just weird! I mean, everyone is dead. Well, we've got time to that. Yeah. Hold on a minute. That sign over there is in English. Are you having me on? Are we in it? No, 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 no. That's the TARDIS translation yeah. circus. We're talking Latin right now. Seriously? Mm. I just said seriously in Latin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what if I said something in actual Latin? If I said, Vene, Vene, Vice, so that look, what would it sound like? I'm not sure. You have to think of difficult questions, don't you? <laughs> I'm going to try it. What can I get you, Marla? Vene, Vide, Vice. Sorry? Me no a speak a Celtic. No can do missing. Celtic? Yeah. How's it mean Celtic? Welsh. You sound Welsh. No, we are. That's something. Okay. Oh, now clothes look a bit odd. Interesting appearance there. Before you ask, that fire had nothing to do with me. Well, a little bit. But I haven't got the chance to look around properly. Colosseum, Pantheon, Circus Maximus. Where is everything? Except, yeah, it, it kind of didn't know me. The name of this is Pompeii, but he's talking about Rome. Not an expert. But there's she's singing Vesuvius. Right, How come they've only got one? Here we go again. Well, you picked the worst fucking time to go. One mountain with smoke, which makes this Pompeii. Yeah. We're in Pompeii. Yeah, not Rome. I've been to the top of Vesuvius, too. That was fun. Well, I'm glad I did it. <laughs> it it was a little more exercise than I was expecting. <laughs> Not exactly somebody who hikes up volcanoes on a regular basis, obviously. They said it would take 15 minutes from, like, you know, because you drive a bus up most of the way. And they're like, oh, it's 15 minutes. No, no. No, it was like an hour. I mean, I did stop a lot to, like, take pictures and stuff, but still. It has come, as foretold in the prophecy. The box. The blue box. Okay. You're not telling me the TARDIS is gone. Okay. Where is it? You told me not N to tell you. You did say that. There was a box just over there. Where's it gone? Sold it, didn't I? But... Wouldn't you have to sell? Who'd you sell it to? Oh, Kai Achilles. He's on Foss Street. What's he buying a big wooden box for? Modern art. If we'd moved to Rome, like I said, she could have been a Vestal Virgin. Someone mentioned Vestal Virgins? You apologize to the household gods. Get off. Apologize right now. The gods are always watching. <sighs> Position! You angered the gods. <laughs> Is he a little hungover? How's your head, sunshine? How's your head? My dad, <laughs> give us a break. You want to smarten yourself up, Quintus. Look at your sister. She has the gift. Be proud of your sister for once. Have you been consuming? Not this morning. Well, come on, sweetheart. Practice. It's hot today. The gift and consuming? What is... what? Sometimes in the smoke. I see the most terrible things. Face of stone. It'll make sense. The veil will be parted, and you'll be a seer. Her eyes are freaking gorgeous. <laughs> no. I, no. I would just not do that anymore. <laughs> then maybe we've got a great big bell or something we could ring. Have they invented your bells yet? What do you want a bell for? To warn everyone. Start the evacuation. What time does the service erupt? When's it due? It's 79 AD, 23rd of August, which makes Volcano Day tomorrow. Plenty of time. We get everyone out easy. Yeah, except we're not going to. Yeah, you can't do that. You're the doctor. You save people. Not this time. Pompeii is a fixed point in history. What happens, happens. There is no stopping it. Uh, so, so, 
This is me. What, you're in charge? Not this time of year. Donna Human, no! We are getting out of here. Well, I might just have something to say about that spaceman. Oh, I bet you will! <laughs> I don't feel like you should make him regret this decision to bring you along immediately, Donna. The tall one. He calls us mad. We have found it, Sister Sperina. The blue box. A temple made of wood. And yet the Sybil foretold that the box would appear at the time of storms and betrayal. Sisters, the Sibylline oracles are wrong. But we have venerated her words for generations. I predict a future of prosperity and might. An endless empire of Pompeii. Reaching out from this city to top of Rome itself. She looks fairly stone-like. That's not going to happen, though. The gods approve! Do they? He gives zero fucks. Who are you? I am Spartacus. And so am I. Mr. and Mrs. Spartacus. Oh, no, 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 we're not, we're not married. Oh, the brother and sister. Sure. Frankly, that object looks rather like wood to me. I told you to get rid of it. I only bought it today. Caviar empty. Oh, you're Celtic. <laughs> it is lovely. Although while we're here, wouldn't you recommend a holiday, Spartacus? Oh, this lovely family. Mother and father and son. Don't you think they should get out of town? Why should we do that? Or oh, the volcano for starters. What? The Romans haven't even got a word for volcano. Not until tomorrow. Oh, great. They can learn a new word as they die. Donna, stop it. Listen, I don't know what sort of kids you've been flying around with in outer space, but you're not telling me to shut up. That boy, tomorrow he burns to death. And that's my fault. Right now, yes. I mean, it would be so, so hard knowing what's going to happen and not being able to do anything to help anyone. It's an honor. Pardon me, sir. I have guests. This is Spartacus and uh, Spartacus. He's weird. We'll be off. I'm not going. It's ready, sir. You've got to. Well, I'm not. And here it is. Exactly as you specified. Um. Who designed that then? My Lord Lucius was very specific. Where did you get the pattern? On the rain and mist and wind. But that looks like a circuit. Yeah. Do you mean you just dreamt that thing up? That is my job. A city auger. What's that then, like the mayor? The auger is paid by the city to tell the future. They're laughing at us. Those two, they use words like tricksters. They're mocking us. She looks sick. I gather I have a rival in this household. Another with the gift. Oh, she's been promised to the Sibylline Sisterhood. The prophecies of women are limited and dull. Only the menfolk have the capacity for true perception. I'll tell you where the wind's blowing right now, mate. Consuming the vapors, you said. They give me strength. Do they? To me. Is that yeah. your opinion as a doctor? I beg your pardon? Doctor, that's your name. And you, you call yourself noble. Don't be rude. No, 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 not at all. You both come from so far away. That's her last name, right? Donna Noble. No, I reckon you've been out soothside. Is that so? Man from Gallifrey. What? What the fuck is happening right now? This is the gift of Pompeii. Every single oracle tells the truth. Doctor, she is returning. Who is Who's she? And you. There is something on your back. What's happening? Even the word doctor is false. Your real name is hidden. If you are a lord, sir. A lord of time. Okay. I did not expect that scene to go that way. What's wrong with her arm? An irritation of the skin. She never complains, bless her. We bathe it in olive oil every night. She's starting to look like that one. We've got hot springs, even from Vesuvius itself. What's all that? Sooth says. After the great earthquake 17 years ago, an awful lot of damage. But we rebuilt. Didn't you think of moving away? Yeah, you probably should have. 
But after the earthquake, let me guess, is that when the soothsayers started making sense? Oh, yes, very much so. I mean, that's always been, shall we say, imprecise. Have they said anything about tomorrow? No. <laughs> Why should they? Why do you ask? Oh, well. They're all consuming this. Dust. They're only particles of rock. They're breathing in Vesuvius. Which, I mean, I guess explains why they're turning to stone, sort of. The liar. He told my father it was the only one. Tell them all the same thing, get all the components from different places so no one can see what you're building. Which is what? The future, Doctor. We are building the future as dictated by the gods. What you doing, old Pompeii, then? What you going about around the shops? TK Maximus. I am promised to the sisterhood for the rest of my life. What can you see happening tomorrow? Is tomorrow special? You tell me. The sun will rise, the sun will set. Nothing special at all. Don't tell the doctor I said anything because he'll kill me. But I've got a prophecy too. <sighs> Evelina, I'm sorry, but you've got to hear me out. This whole town is going to get buried. That's not true. I'm sorry. The noble woman. She spoke of a new prophecy. Pompeii will last forever. Then what must we do? The false hmm. prophet must die. Sacrifice her. Put this one there. This one there. I feel like you probably shouldn't be trying to put these together. What? The soothsayer doesn't know. The seed may float on the breeze in any direction. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. But it's an energy converter. An energy converter of what? I don't know. You insult the gods. There can be only one sentence. At arms! Oh. But it was him, sir. He made me do it. Mr. Dextrous, please don't. Come on now, Quintus. Dignity in death. I respect your victory, Lucius. Shake on it. His hand's stone already, I bet. His hand and arm, yep. The work of the gods. Quintus! Run! Did any of them actually break though? Didn't look like it. Yeah. This man would prevent the rise of Pompeii. Lord, I beg of you, show yourself. Nice little bit of Alonso, I think we're all right. For his arm, Doctor. Is that what's happening to Evelina? What the heck? That doesn't sound good. Footsteps. Can't be. Footsteps underground. What is it? Underground, yeah. Yep. Yep. I feel like that's just gonna piss it off. That little bit of water worked. Not too difficult to stop, but I reckon that's just the foot soldier. Doctor, or whatever your name is. You bring bad luck in this house. I thought your son was brilliant. Aren't you going to thank him? If there are aliens at work in Pompeii, it's a good thing we stayed. Donna! Yeah, she's gone. Donna! You have got to be kidding me. The false prophet will surrender both her blood and her breath. I'll surrender you in a minute, don't you? Dead. You will be silent. Let me go! This prattling voice will cease forever. Oh, that'll be the day. <laughs> no man is allowed to enter the temple of Sybil. Well, that's all right. Just us girls. Do you know, I met the Sybil once. Yeah. Hell of a woman. Blimey, she can dance a tarantella. Okay, so hence where the prophecy's from. This one is different. He carries starlight in his wake. Oh, very perceptive. Where do these words of wisdom come from? The gods whisper to me. Look upon the high priestess. 
happened to you? The heavens have blessed me. Have they? Is that really a blessing? The people of Pompeii are turning to stone before the volcano erupts. But why? This word, this image in your mind, this volcano. What you That's think? really cool. Why like, don't you know about it? However, they did that on her. No, no, no. I'm talking to the creature inside you. The thing that's seeding itself into a human body in the dust in the lungs. Your knowledge is impossible. Oh, but you can read my mind. You know it's not. We are awakening. The voice of the gods. Words, words of wisdom. wisdom. Words of power. Words we are Parable. Well, that's a part of all growing inside her. She's a half voice stage. Okay, now it's creepy. Now it's really creepy. I warn you, I'm armed. Donna, get that grill out. Where the fuck did he get a water gun from? Where does the gift of prophecy come from? Do <laughs> it! Now get down! What, really? Yes, down there! Why can't this one predict the volcano? Why is it being hit? Sisters, I see into his mind. The weapon is harmless! Yeah, but it's got a sting. I bloody love you. <laughs> Where are we going now? Into the volcano. No way. Yes way. Abbey way. The stranger would threaten our great endeavor. I feel like it would be way too hot for them down there already. We must go to the mountain. Vesuvius awaits. Not for long. Someone must make a choice. The most terrible choice. Who? What? Doesn't that make you all right? For you to stop it? Still part of history. You saved me in 2008. You saved us all. Why is that different? Some things are fixed. Some things are in flux. Pompeii is fixed. How do you know which is which? Because that's how I see the universe. Every waking second I can see what is, what was, what could be, what must not. How many people died? Stop it. How many people died? 20,000. And you think that's all right, do you? They're nowhere here. Come on. Almighty Vesuvius, accept these offerings and show unto us, I beseech you, the gods of the underworld. Okay. So I take it that's like the main one. What do they call those in, in like old school games? Like the boss or whatever? You do the boss fight? Oh, maybe not. There are a bunch. That's how they arrive. Or what's left of it? Escape pod? Prison ship? There's nowhere to run, Doctor and Daughter of London! <laughs> now then, Lucius, don't get yourselves in a lava. Lava? No. no. But if I might beg the wisdom of not one of your better ones. Why don't you just go home? Paravilia is lost, but there is heat enough in this world. Yeah, I should warn you, it's 70% water out there. Water can boil, and everything will burn, Doctor! Then the whole planet is at stake. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. Yep. <laughs> Alright, now he can take action and destroy them. Will we be any more trapped? You'll be hot. See, the energy converter takes the lava, uses the power to create a fusion matrix which welds pyroval to human. Well, can't you change it? Of course I can, but don't you see? That's why the soothsayers can't see the volcano. There is no volcano. Vesuvius is never going to erupt. The pyroval is stealing all its power. They're going to use it to take over the world. But you can change it back. Shit. I can invert the system, set off the volcano and blow them up, yes, but... Then that'll destroy everyone. I'm... It's Pompeii mm. or the world. Oh my god. If Pompeii is destroyed, then it's not just history. It's me. I make it happen. Yeah. Vesuvius explodes with a force of 24 nuclear bombs. Nothing can survive it. Tell me not that. Never mind us.
push this lever and it's over. 20,000 people. thing is new nightmare fuel. I was wondering how they were going to get out of this. You can't just leave them! Don't you think I've done enough? You've got to go back! Doctor, I'm telling you, take this thing back! It's not fair. No, it's not. Just someone. Please. Not the whole town. Just save someone. It's never forgotten, Caecilius. Pompeii will be found, again. And everyone will remember you. What about you, Evelina? The visions have gone. You're free. The great god Vulcan must be enraged. It's so volcanic. Thank you. Yeah. You were right. Sometimes I need someone. Matella, my love, have you seen that clasp? Why? This is weird. Oh, look at Quintus. My son, the doctor. Mum, I've told you, I'm not a doctor, not yet. Give thanks to the household gods before you go. There's a good boy. Thank you, household gods. Thank you for everything. <laughs> um, I actually like that episode. It's kind of ridiculous to like equate Pompeii with, or tribute Pompeii, I guess, to stone aliens. But I'll go with it. Um, no, in general, I actually really liked it because, like I said, I am. Pompeii is always one of the things, like since I was a kid, that has fascinated me and. I did go there on my last trip to Europe and uh, cried there too. Yep. Many tears were shed. Um, so this is interesting from that standpoint. I, uh, so Donna, I mean, she, she pushed back against the doctor a lot in this episode, like almost every step of the way. <laughs> so I feel like that's going to be interesting between the two of them. Because this was their first thing together after, you know, she became an official companion, I guess. And and there was a lot of a lot of contention because, like, they didn't agree on anything. But I think she I think once he explained, uh, like, how it works between the fixed and the variable points and like he can tell because he can see it all. So there's not really a way for him to explain it. So she's just going to kind of have to take him at his word you know, that he he can tell the difference and he knows when they can intervene and when they can't. But also he saved that family, uh, you know, and he wasn't going to until Donna did push back. So it'll be interesting how they play off each other in this series. Um, I think she's going to challenge him in a way that no companions that I've seen so far have challenged the doctor. 
because Rose and Martha did challenge nine and, and ten. Again, I'm only on the first doctor. Uh, the companions in that haven't really challenged him that much. Uh, but Martha and Rose both did in their own way. Like they definitely pushed him to do things that he didn't normally. But when it came down to it, they were both kind of just happy to eventually give in and go with what he said. Um, whereas Donna <laughs> clearly is not. She's going to have some opinions about things and she's going to be pretty hard headed about those. And she's going to make the doctor listen. So, yeah, that's that's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Even though she did give the doctor kind of a lot of shit in this episode, I this episode did make me like Donna more only because I like seeing that that, you know, very compassionate side of her. Like she knew what was going to happen and she she wanted to save everyone and was very adamant about that. And I admire that. And especially like at the end, like she just wanted to save anyone, <laughs> you know, she just, she couldn't leave without, without saving someone. And yeah, I, I appreciate that. Um, uh, I wasn't expecting to get anything with Rose. I, I mean, I said that there at the end only because like they tacked on Rose at the end of the first one. So I'm like, this is odd that we're getting a six months later sort of a thing. Like what else is going to happen to justify all of this? Like it's new sets, new costumes, a different part of the story. Like, there has to be a reason for it. Um, and it, it turned out to be kind of a silly reason, you know, that they became like the house gods or whatever for that family. But I really like going into this, I was not expecting to get anything with Rose. I feel like that's going to be something that's going to be pretty sporadic and they're going to give us very tiny things, um, for a while, if anything, uh, like we could go, five, six, seven episodes without getting anything else on Rose. Like I'm prepared for that to happen. Um, I, I would like to get information as quickly as possible, but I'm prepared for it to take a while for us to get there. Although we did get the hint. I forget what it said now. She, she has returned or will return or something along those lines. And I feel like it was, I mean, it was obviously definitely talking about Rose. Um, so we did get a little, a little hint of something in this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's going to wrap up this one. If you're watching this on Patreon, thank you so much for the support. If you're watching this on YouTube and you want to catch up with those on Patreon who got this episode at least months ago, they also have access to the full reactions and watch along style, which means you do need to provide your own copy for copyright reasons. And they have access to the discord server, excuse me, and the monthly zoom calls. Uh, you just click the link in the description below for that to join them over there on Patreon. If you want to hang out here on YouTube, that is totally cool. Just make sure you hit the subscribe and notification buttons so you don't miss the next episode when it comes out. And hopefully I'll see you in that one.